they have the staircase which is the Hey, so I just arrived in Chongqing and I've just taken the metro to the place where my hotel is so I'm looking for my hotel now, let's go! And I'm in Chongqing which is a city not far from Chengdu if you watched my Chengdu Happy Valley blog, I just made that yesterday um, and I'm just looking for my hotel right now Chongqing is a really mountainous city so this is the hotel I'm staying at it's Ramada Angkor if you come to Chongqing I highly recommend it it's really nice and affordable and in a good location this is my hotel I'm just checking in now okay so let's go in and check out my hotel room this is the bathroom shower nice okay oh okay very nice smells nice too <gasps> Ooh, a really good view let's check the bed comfortable and look there's even a little um little kitchen I love it okay so I now am going to check out a place which is called Hongya Caves and it's one of the most famous tourist spots in Chongqing and it's really amazing so you'll see why people love going there when um, I show you what it looks like apparently it's really good at night time as well so it's um, in the evening now the sun will set maybe in an hour or so so yeah I'll give you those amazing nighttime shots of it as well show you some of Chongqing's vibes it's got a really foresty jungle kind of vibe have a look at some of the natural sights of Chongqing the food is supposed to be famous for being really spicy and I guess you can get lobsters too Xiaolong Xia, which is famous in China. Little dog. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the subway to the main part of the city where this place is. This is what the subway station looks like. Let's go. Um, I just got out of the metro station and there's this really amazing looking temple which is right in the middle of the city and I'm gonna walk from here to the Hongya Caves so let's go Wow, there's a really amazing view of the river. And I'm gonna walk down here to this really famous place. So, oh, you can get some more views of the river on the way. Chongqing is a really interesting city. So I highly recommend coming. Look at the view, so amazing. But it really is a stunning, stunning view of the river. So high up from the river with views of the city on both sides. Let's go check out the Hongya Cave. There are a lot of these cute alleyways around here some really traditional Chinese style I'm not sure what I'm gonna eat for dinner maybe some Chongqing spicy spicy it's really so beautiful over here look at that view wow you can see how high up we are 
can take a boat to tour the river and you can also walk this path down the cliff so I'm gonna take a walk down this boardwalk and have a look at the amazing view of Chongqing and then hopefully find something good to eat and show you some of this traditional Chinese architecture which is around here look at these stones wow that's really amazing I just can't get over this amazing view so beautiful just give you a view of the cliff that I just walked down from and we're gonna go over here and have a look at this amazing building okay this is what I really came to see look at this probably the most famous site of Chongqing city and apparently it's really beautiful at night time I did some research and this um, place in the ancient Chongqing city the cliff was part of the city wall and they used the cliff as an impregnable defense system but yeah this is really amazing so I can't wait to and this <laughs> so naughty Really amazing. It's really amazing place. So glad I came to check it out. Hopefully I can find something to eat for dinner. I'm a hungry boy. These amazing kind of alleyways with a lot of unique shops. Clothes, snacks. Um, all kinds of different things, so it's really interesting. Pottery. Ooh, have a look. Wow. This has to be the weirdest shop I've ever seen. It's just rabbits. Look at all the rabbits. What on earth? Is it real taxidermy? Rabbits. <laughs> So crazy. They have this staircase which is themed to like the old, uh, I guess 70s China. It's really neat. These toys look like they haven't been won in like 30 years. <laughs> Everyone's really interested in the sky. He's good at being still. I've discovered that this place, as you see it, was built in 2006 by a Hong Kong businessman. And it's supposed to be designed to look like a pirate city on the cliff. Um, but it's definitely like a very unique kind of tourist spot with a lot of really unique views. 
and there's also something a little bit creepy about parts of it. Dragon. It's a really amazing theming. <laughs> the sun is setting and you can see they've turned on all the lights in the building. So I'm gonna go down and have a look and take some nice photos. The beautiful sunset. I came down to give you the beautiful night view of the Hongya Caves. Wow. A lot of people over here. So amazing. The nighttime view is so amazing. You can see down there so many people are coming in on both sides of the street and there's a lot more people now that it's night time. I guess everyone thinks the nighttime view is more special. Okay, I'm heading back to my hotel now. Um, there's so many people here. I hope I got to show you some of the amazing um, Chongqing. Hongya Dong, the Hongya Cave. I thought it was really beautiful as well as the view of the city. Um, if you want to check out some of my other videos, you can click here or here. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. See ya, thanks for watching.